Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing reading something a little bit different, I'm going to be reading some poems for you, uh, two poems in fact, and the first one is from this compilation by Paul Cookson and it's all about disgusting poems. And the one that I find funny in here, there's lots of funny ones, but the one I like is about Gran's big bloomers. And if you don't know what bloomers are, they're like pants or your knickers. These are about Gran's and she's got big ones. In Gran's big bloomers you could hide an air balloon for her to ride, a baby hippo, small but wide, a roundabout, a swing, a slide, a string of flags all brightly dyed, a stack of pancakes crisply fried, a pair of llamas both cross-eyed, a princess shocked yet dignified, a whale or a wombat, you decide, a bridegroom and his blushing bride, a queue of tourists, plus their guide, a plague of rats, which Piper pied, a giant parcel neatly tied, and still have room for Gran inside. This one, there's a picture of Gran's bloomers there, and that's written by Claire Bevan. And the next one, it's one of my favourites, is by Alan Alberg. And he wrote lots of stories like the Funny Bone stories and the Happy Family stories, which you might know him for. But he also wrote a lot of poetry as well. And this one's called Please Mrs Butler. And it's about a teacher who really can't be bothered. Um, and the boy keeps asking questions and questions and questions and telling tales. And the teacher just can't be bothered to answer him. So I think it's quite funny. Obviously not a teacher we'd have at the Beacon Centre because we always answer your questions and have your best interests at heart. So, this poem. Please, Mrs. Butler. Please, Mrs. Butler, this boy, Derek Drew, he keeps copying my work, miss. What shall I do? Oh, go and sit in the hall, dear. Go and sit in the sink. Take your books on the roof, my lamb, and do whatever you think. But please, Mrs. Butler, this boy, Derek Drew, keeps taking my rubber, miss. What shall I do? Well, keep it in your hand, dear. Hide it up your vest. Swallow it if you like, love, and just do what you think best. But please, Mrs. Butler, this boy, Derek Drew, keeps calling me rude names, miss. What shall I do? Lock yourself in the cupboard, dear. <laughs> Run away to see. Do whatever you can, my flower, but don't ask me. There, two of my favourite poems. I hope you've enjoyed them. Try and find some poems that you enjoy. Bye.